What's up you guys, FSC Trucking. We're getting ready to fire up Orwell right here and go ahead and take this Oshkosh Striker down to Baltimore, Maryland. However, this time it's going to be a different video than what you guys are used to seeing when we go to Baltimore because we can't run the toll roads this time of year. Now you might ask yourself, why is that? Well, we are actually allowed to run the Illinois toll road. However, it's Ohio and Indiana that won't let us run because two reasons. Number one, the fire truck sitting on this trailer is just under 14 feet tall. The other issue is construction. Right now they got a lot of construction out there and the lanes are really narrow. I actually just got back there bobtailing, so if you've seen them videos, you realize that, now how are you gonna get a big truck through that? Well, you're not, so we're off the troll road. So we're gonna run through Illinois like normal, get to 80, then 65 south, haul ass across 70, then in Pennsylvania we come down 79 to 68, back to 70 in Maryland, and then shoot across to Baltimore. That's how we're gonna do it. So with that, enough of me yapping. I'm sorry I didn't film, go ahead and I'm sorry I didn't film loading it for you guys. I probably should have, but things just got real hectic around here with everything else I got going on. So with that, let me go ahead and fire up Orwell and get this day started. boys and girls. Let's go ahead and get at it, huh? By the way, this truck is not only wide, it's heavy. On this truck and this trailer, we're 83,600 pound gross.
gonna do now is put the old tube back on. Hopefully that wasn't the problem. Considering our cartridge was really, really tight, I don't think the leak was actually out of that tube. I still think it was a problem in the cartridge itself. So we're gonna take that back apart. I'm not happy about it, I'll tell you that. But whatever, I, I guess I should have double checked it. Excellent, so now, got the new gasket, new tube. Put your gasket on. So, I did go and get two brand new bolts from Caterpillar. That probably cost extra. Other 
trucker YouTubers out here that run the road, they do things different than I do. Like, I kind of found my own niche in the way that I film, the way that I edit, the format that I tend to do. I've gotten better at it. In other words, I can kind of predict what's going to happen before I do it, for the most part. The problem is, I run three GoPros simultaneously. And by the end of a round trip, I've usually gone through about eight to 10 SD cards. And with those full, that's about one terabyte of data. And maybe I only get an hour out of all of that. So it's certainly wasteful, but that seems to be the best way to do it. Of course, nowadays we renamed this channel FSC Trucking, formerly FSC Speed Shop. FSC Truck Shop is the shop side of my life where we work on Orwell, we work on other trucks eventually, work on that Detroit Diesel that we have, that 12V71. I had to make the content separate because there's two different audiences that I have apparently. One that likes the on-road content and not the shop content. And it's also guys that like both, but there's also people that want the shop content, not so much the on-road. So I had to separate it. Slave to the algorithm is what it is. But this, as of now, is still the primary channel. Some may ask about my wipers here triple wipers that the truck came with in factory and they are still pneumatic this is an air switch of course there's no intermittent they didn't even dream of it in 1984 unless you were driving luxury cars a cab over peterbilt is not a lincoln Saturday. The game plan for me today is get through Wisconsin, Illinois before dark. I could run Indiana at night, camp out on the Indiana side of the Ohio line, and then get up in the morning and press on. Right now we're coming around the north side of Appleton. I mentioned earlier, I loaded this truck days ago, brought it home rather than go to the yard and bobtail home and try to get some work done at the shop, which never happened. Too many family things came up. A lot of stuff involving my family's move to Texas I had to deal with and get ready for our trip also because we're planning on going to Texas. After this run, we'll be taking my Ram truck, the two motorcycles, and the camping trailer to Texas. Hopefully, I'll do some filming, some moto vlogging for what I will release as FSC Speed Shop again, which will be automotive content, um, more recreational content, that kind of stuff. That's where the boat will be. That's where the trucks will, or not the trucks, that's where the pickup trucks, the, the cars, that's where all the automotive will be. I'm either on the road, out doing things, or in the shop, one or the other. All that traffic for a guy changing a tire. They're gonna be redoing this section here shortly, I hear next year. They're gonna widen this out to three lanes. This gets pretty rough from here, traffic-wise. Because once you get past this exit, it goes to three lanes. And it stays two lanes all the way up close to Green Bay. Once you get into the pier, it goes to three again. It's real nice up there. But they need to widen this out. This is terrible. We'll see what they do. So maybe this vacation trip will be 
some of the videos that I'll put up when I relaunch FSC Speed Shop being the third of the FSC branded channels. Now we put the caliper on. Alright boys and girls, they cleaned up the mess. This is going to be qualifying round two. Alright mate, you good to go, huh? Yep. Alrighty. Now we got the GoPro, thanks to Jen. Thank you Jen. Thank you Jen for all the GoPro work.